Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and this is another episode of What's on My Crafty Tables. And as you can see, we're not looking at my tables right now. This is the front of my art studio slash she shed slash the pine cone cabin. When I went away last week to go hang out with a girlfriend, what I had asked for for my birthday back in November was to have my art studio stained that it sort of matches the house. And my husband had started it. It took him four days to stain this building. It also took nearly 10 gallons of stain. Now, we've had some rain here, so excuse me. But, um... It's beautiful to me. Uh, I did help him with the swings and with the ramp and the porch. It is actually a different type of stain. It's more for decks, so I'm hoping it'll be very durable. But I just wanted to show it to you. I am so tickled about it. It's something that I've wanted for a little while, but I knew it would be another expense. So I needed to kind of break it up a little bit. So anyway, let's go on in if I don't make you seasick here. And as you can see, there's still some tape. We are probably going to roll some more stain on the outside because of the product that's on it. You can see there were places that didn't take the stain as well. My husband says that that's the glue in the board. So we are going to try it again in probably a week or so, and we've had a bunch of rain now, so we need to let things kind of dry out so hold on here we go and sissy's in here somewhere so if you see something move it's just going to be her anyway here we go um excuse me i brought my laptop in with me um this is a hot mess right now and i know i've heard many people through the years say oh i've lost my mojo Oh, I just am so overwhelmed by the stuff. That's a little bit how I'm feeling right now. I came back from my trip and I did get a couple projects finished, which I'll show you. And we did some shopping. Now in the middle of all of this, I need to start gathering and preparing for the retreat that I'm hosting. So I've kind of got a few different things going on and... There's been a little bit of stress with the retreat that um, I've never had before. So, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of got me right now. But let me go on and walk you around and kind of show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> As you know, this is my dump bin where I keep my paper. And um, that right there is a tablecloth that I use for coffee staining and stuff. And... I had actually taped it over my door while my husband was staining um, to help keep the paint white on the door. And then this is the tray. I think I've showed you this before. One of my trays with my tiles. And um, I finally have the back of it sanded pretty well, um, pretty smooth. And so this placemat I'm going to cut to put on the bottom of the tray. I always like to decorate the trays and not just leave them plain. So that's one little project that shouldn't take me very long. And then I'm going to put that tray up for sale. Um, so let's go around like we normally do. Um, some glass tiles that I'm cleaning up. And I bought some, um, excuse me here. I bought some um, old movie books. And uh, they were 50 cents when I went off on my trip, so I couldn't resist them. They've got some great black and white, not glossy pictures in them. And this is pretty funny. I just realized this was up here. Um, this is glue that had been run on the bottom of some of the um, tile samples that I have. I don't think it was this one, but usually like on the back of the tile. It's um, glued to a board, so I thought they would be pretty good to like lay on paper and then spritz and be kind of like a stencil. So here is, take these apart, I had some big old binders that um, 
was literature about some of the construction samples. So while I was away, I decoupaged these two big old binders. Let's see if you can see. And um, I used some of those old movie clips. And here's another one. And we all know that's Gone with the Wind. One of the books was based on Clark Gable. And then this is the edge of it. And then this is the front of it. Those binders I'm going to use to store my ATCs. The binders I have right now um, are not really all that big. And the way I decoupaged them before isn't really lasting. Uh, so <laughs> I need to regroup. So that's basically what's on this table. This is one of those piles of stuff that I need to find a home for. One of the things that I got while we were away at that shop was some um, wooden stamps. They ranged anywhere from 25 cents to a dollar, which I thought was a great deal. So I stamp all of my stamps in a book. That way I know what I have. And so I was in the process of doing that. Um, this was just a texture plate that I got for a quarter. And then I got a big box of file folders and then some chipboard that's already like a little album, but I will tear it apart. But those are kind of almost traveler notebook size. Um, and then my friend gave me that die and then I'd already gotten some more mixed media books. And then this is just a little bit of hodgepodge. Things that I just have to put away. Oh, I have to put away. And then um, one of the things I'm going to work on at the retreat are my clay tiles. So I have these two bins. This is the stamps that I used to usually stamp in them. And these are some tiles that I've already done. Um, and there's the wallpaper that I've still never put away. And then this is one of the things that I started when I was away with my friend. This is a hanging file folder that I decoupaged, so I still do have to sew around the edges, and I'll do a video on that later. Um, then some tiles that I need to clean up, and I'm, I'm going to make coasters out of them. They are very pretty. And um, so that's that. And then that's the mixed media piece that I did, and I'll show that at another time. And then of course, this is just my one workstation that I do. This is just some glue books. Um, I'm going to do a journal with that, um, Dr. Seuss. And then I pulled these out. These were the, um, the lace that I did using caulk. It was a certain type of caulk that I did. And um, I, I, I decided I was going to try to put those in a couple journals that I've already done. And then when I went away, I had my bag full of napkins and stuff to decoupage. And, um, you know, so that's, that's basically it. But it is like so overwhelming to me right now to think that I have to put this stuff away, find a home for it. Um, I had been being pretty organized and now all of a sudden, I don't know, I'm just not quite in the mood for all of it. And I've been looking for this little journal that I did at a retreat a while back. And it was uh, Seth, Seth Apter um, taught us how to do rust on these pages. And I've promised somebody that I would bring it if I can find it. And I have tucked that thing away somewhere. And I've, I've seen it recently when I was moving in here. So I know it's in here somewhere. And I know that happens to everybody too. That you've got something and you just can't quite put your hands on it. So anyway, I'm going to ask you to wish me luck. And um, come on back and maybe the next time I do what's on my crafty tables, this will all be put away and I'll have something more fun out there. But I just wanted to let you all know that we all go through this. Every one of us. We hit these walls. We get too much stuff out. And, and then it's just a little overwhelming and... and we kind of need to step away and regroup and work on our little brains. So anyhow, I do appreciate your time and thanks for watching my videos. And remember, I do put up a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. I also do have a Facebook group and a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest. So please um, come on back and check me out and I'll see you down the road. Catch you all later. Appreciate you. Bye.